What's up guys, welcome back to another episode. Today is day 63 of zero to a million dollars with our CBD company, so should be a good one. I have a pretty decent day planned here. Right now I'm actually heading over to the track to get our first workout of the day in with Coach. It's about 11 a.m. and it's uh, Friday, so we're gonna do some long distance or we're gonna do some sprints. I'm not entirely sure which, but I am prepared for both, so should be good. And then when I get home we have you know, a pretty good day for work planned. We've got to do our daily checklist. We have to get an update on that new merchant account that I applied for earlier this week. We might have an approval today, which means we can make some more money, baby. Obviously, that's what we wanna do. So, with that said, um, I did find some really cool things about our customer support that should help us move forward. And I'm excited to share those with you when we get home. And yeah, so right now I'm actually about to go hit this workout in. I might do two workouts today. I'm trying to get back on my grind, you know, just dial in on all aspects because I feel like since I got back from Utah, I've been working out like once a day, which is good, bro. Like once a day is good, you know, I, I like that. But before that, I was doing cardio every day and I was boxing every day or I was boxing and lifting or I was doing cardio and lifting. So I always had a combo. I was doing like once in the morning, once at night and I felt amazing. And so I'm trying to get back to that, to be honest with you. But yeah, so should be pretty solid day. But once I get home, we'll run through our daily sprint checklist. That's our morning routine, our morning ritual. And uh, then we'll go into some of the other more interesting details that I'll share with you guys. So I'll talk to you guys after my workout. Peace. Hey, Ross. Hey, what's fatigue? Fatigue is the enemy, baby. And Let's we go. just kicked the task, right? You here. heard it from the man himself. Fatigue's the enemy, baby. I'll see you guys back at home. All right, boys, so we got home not too long ago from our workout with Coach. We ended up doing sprints, which was brutal to say the least. It was like 35 minutes of, uh, I don't know if you guys have ever done these, but suicide. So it's like up and back, up and back, up and back. So by the end of that, we were pretty dead, but amazing workout. <clears throat> Let me fix this camera real quick. Anyway, when I got back, I obviously showered and then I called my partner to see what we had going on for the day. And then we kind of just had a conversation regarding like how we want to move our company forward. And we came to a couple different conclusions, especially right now. So right now we're not pushing any new traffic from affiliates at this point in time because we don't have the cap for it. Um, like they, they'll push too much revenue essentially. So we can't deal with that yet. Um, but the first thing that we kind of talked about doing was pushing our own traffic, right? So we talked about potentially running our own ads through TikTok and Facebook for both the gummies and then we have another product which is like icy hot kind of but infused with CBD. So it's a cream basically. So what we wanted to do and what we're, we decided to do is hire out a couple different people and what we're gonna do is just have them produce user generated content or UGC for us for probably the next couple of weeks, right? And we're gonna be having them produce this content and it's gonna be completely different angles Per person. So one person might be pain relief, one girl might be skincare, one girl might be, uh, oh my God, my boyfriend's an athlete and has always had this joint pain and you know now we use this thing and it's, it's gone. So we're gonna be testing a bunch of different angles because I've always talked to you about this. Testing is the name of the game. When it comes to business, you always wanna be testing different things, different angles, different approaches, right? <clears throat> so that's the first thing we decided to do. Because also on top of uh, hiring these people for the UGC, it'll give us more content to use on our own TikTok page. Because right now it's just a product in our hands and whatnot, because we can't show our faces because I'm not doing a brand reveal yet, right? But we think that having somebody's face behind the brand will actually help maybe boost some traction while we're still testing out our other approach. So that's something that we're working on. That's the first thing that we actually decided to work on today. Basically, what we're gonna do when we find, like let's just say uh, we hire this girl named Sally or something, right? So Sally produces UGC, we post it on our organic page. If it does well, then we're gonna take that uh, video and then run a bunch of ads to that product using that video essentially. So that's the way we're gonna be able to test creatives without having to spend too much money um, outside from just giving a free sample and maybe paying like 100 to bucks or something like that. So it's nothing too bad. And we're gonna get a lot of content that we can reuse over and over again throughout the entire brand. So basically once we find a video that pops off, we're gonna use that for ads. So that's kind of our little strategy. We also kind of decided that running <clears throat> social media ads like ourselves, we have a more than enough traffic that we could run through affiliates, but we wanna really increase our social awareness, like build a real brand. And affiliate is like kind of email, SMS, they could be using native. Some of them might be using Facebook, but the reality is 
if we want to get our brand out there like publicly, people want to know about what our brand is, then we need to run our own ads as well and become known for something. So that's what we plan on doing. Even if those ads are just slightly profitable or even break even, it's worth it for us to do that. So yeah, um, that's pretty excited, or exciting. So, I mean, after that, we also had a couple of uh, other ideas to bring in new sales ourselves as well. On top of the paid traffic, we also signed up for an Amazon seller account today, which is still under verification. They have like an intense verification sign-up process. So, I mean, it definitely, uh, definitely took a little while, but we're supposed to hear back within two business days regarding our Amazon account. So we should be approved by, I don't know, Monday or Tuesday. And we noticed a clear gap on Amazon for CBD product. Like if you look up CBD on Amazon, the majority of the products you're gonna find look so scammy and just shitty and not branded nicely. And we f feel like just solving that gap for people will be really nice. We have amazing content, amazing branding, everything's great. So we're thinking that after we actually go ahead and add to Amazon, that's gonna bring in a lot of sales itself. Even if it's something small, 5K a month, 10K a month, it's still quite a bit of sales considering the, uh, the, the volume, right? So. That's another thing that we're gonna work on. Uh, we've got quite a few things, you know, none of us have ever sold on Amazon before, me or Hunter, so it's gonna be a completely new experience. Should be pretty fun to learn about. And uh, yeah, so gonna spend the next couple of weeks just kind of learning about Amazon, more about TikTok shop. Obviously, we're gonna be spending a lot of time learning about paid ads ourselves. So right now we have, like I mentioned, so much traffic with affiliates, but at the same time, we wanna be able to run profitable sales ourselves without having to rely on our affiliate network, right? So yeah, I mean, with everything, like our affiliate network, our organic videos, our TikTok ads, our shop, like Amazon, uh, Facebook ads, all this stuff combined, we think will really like, oh my God, it's just gonna be amazing. We're, we're really hopeful that after our payment processor allows it, because right now, if you guys have been watching, you know that we can't do more than 150,000 a month, but with all those things considered, after next month, if we get a raise, we're hoping that at least we can do $500,000 a month in revenue. And like, I think that will be very easily doable for us because we have all these different things, you know, like that's the most important part is diversifying, but we have one thing, our main thing is affiliate. I've, I've, it's been affiliate since we started this brand. It's gonna probably continue to be affiliate for the next year or two until we have like a massive social presence. But we know that with all these things, we're gonna be able to push heavy volume, profitable while growing a brand for a long-term vision. That's the most important thing uh, that I want to kind of put out there is that this brand isn't just like some play. You could go ahead and run a play through affiliates. Like you can run something that's not gonna last longer than six months through an affiliate network and make cash. We could definitely do that, but we'd also be sacrificing our brand image. We'd be allowing them to do a bunch of stupid shit, like say Shark Tank promoted our product and whatnot, and we're not allowing that. So in turn, maybe the affiliate traffic's a little lower. But you know we're focused, like I said, on the long-term vision. We're not focused on tomorrow. We're not focused on the day after that or the day after that. We're focused on years. Because after years, I've already told you my master plan where once THC becomes federally legal, we're gonna go ahead and dominate that industry too. So yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's gonna be awesome. But to be totally honest, right now, we're not making much money at all. Um, you know, this month we've done a little over six figures in revenue, but not too much profit, maybe like 15% margin. So maybe like 10 to 12K profit. Um, if that, so decent, but not too much, but this is a come up. So I've said this before, we're doing six figures a month in revenue, but guys, in just, I guarantee you, listen, in 90 days, 90 days, give me 90 days. We're going to be doing at least six figures a month in profit that we're taking home ourselves to this business. And it's going to be insane. So I'm saying it here first. You guys are seeing it now. Watch for 90 more days and we're going to be killing it. I'm just, I just feel it, you know, like. I just feel it. Uh, and something that is just amazing about this is, and it, I kind of talk about it in every single episode, is just the consistency, guys. Listen, like consistency in whatever you're doing is what will make or break your success in whatever it is that you want to do, right? I've talked about it in several different ways. If you want to get good at boxing, are you going to go to the gym one time a week, maybe stop for a month and go back for the next week? Are you going to get good? No, you're not, right? If you wanna have a successful business, are you gonna be able to start work one day, stop for the next week, and then start again the next day, uh, or you know, next week? No, you're not going to. You have to continue to be consistent and put in the work every single day. And for us, that's something that we're very, very good about. So we're gonna be consistently, and we have been, lately we've been a lot better about it, but 
We have been putting about three TikToks a day about, uh, or three TikToks a day on our page out. So that's been really awesome. No sales or anything yet from them, but we just know that with consistency, excuse me, with consistency and with time, well, we're gonna be able to find a winning angle, find winning videos, and eventually one of them's gonna hit. It's just a matter of time, and we just have to stick around until that happens, basically. That's really what it boils down to. And then same with, I mean, yeah, organically, that's gonna be amazing. And, and same with paid, and same with Amazon, and same with like all the things that I've just mentioned. You have to be consistent about them, right? I'm not expecting Amazon to take off right away. We have to be consistent about learning it. And we have to be consistent about learning paid traffic. We, have to be, we just have to be consistent, guys, like with everything we do. And so I've said consistent like 50 times in the last two seconds, but that's literally all that this is going to boil down to at the end of the day is us remaining true students to what we're doing because we never know enough. Nobody will ever know enough to do everything, right? But we're true students. So we're trying to stay and learn as much as we can about Amazon, shop, e-com as a whole, what other CBD companies did to blow up their, their companies, right? You can learn from them and you can learn from doing, it's just remain a student. You're, no matter how much money you make, I could be saying the same exact thing to you next year when we're doing $10 million a year, but guess what? I bet you I'm still gonna be learning a bunch of new stuff, no matter if that's about bringing in new revenue or it's about running a $10 million company, who knows? But you're always gonna be a student of something. So you never know enough about one specific topic <laughs> for you to be like done learning. There's always more. So I'm just, I'm just excited. Like all these little puzzle pieces that I just talked about, TikTok, Facebook, Amazon, affiliate, all these little puzzle pieces will start to come together. They're gonna start to come together and I just feel so good about it. You guys can probably tell just by how I'm talking how good I feel about this. And it's gonna be just insane. Like. I think that this is the only time in my life where I'm not making money, but I feel amazing, you know? And like, for the most part, I feel really sh shit when I'm not making money. I'm like, oh dude, what's going on? But this time I'm not making money, but I feel great. I'm like so hopeful for the future because I just know the potential that's there and I just know the work we're putting in day in and day out to get the results that we want to. So yeah, I'm just, it's coming to fruition. I know it and I can feel it. So I'm excited that I can even document this like dude it's gonna be wild and in 90 days i'm gonna look back at this video myself and i'm gonna be like dude yeah you were right because i am like it's gonna be absolutely wild but anyway i have to go ahead and eat some lunch i barely ate since i got home so i'm gonna go ahead and i have some bison in the fridge so i'm probably gonna cook up some bison and then after that we'll go through my daily checklist which guys, that checklist, I promise you, if you don't have one for your business, you need to get one because that checklist is like the concrete to our house uh, if the business was our house. So it's what holds our business together. We have to do it every single day or else shit would fall apart. And I'm gonna share with you exactly what we found yesterday when we went through it, which almost made our business fall apart. So in just like, shit, 20 minutes. So I'll talk to you guys in just a few minutes. Boys, I'm back at home. And uh, I'm sorry to tell you, I did not include you in today's speed run through my daily checklist because it was in fact a speed run and I had to get out of the house after that because I had some errands pop up that I had to go run and I had to take care of that dude right there. So with that said, we did finish our checklist and there were a couple things that stood out. Everything else was pretty good though. So basically what we found today after checking everything else first, we were looking at our returns. So when we look at returns, basically what happens is our fulfillment center drops a C, uh, .csv file, which is like a big spreadsheet to our customer support team in a group chat. So maybe that's not the most efficient way to do it, but that's how we do it. Um, and essentially what we found was earlier uh, returns, basically I'm talking about like last month, December returns and whatnot, were not being marked as returned within our CRM and they weren't being canceled or refunded. So what we found was that Levi, stop, one sec. And what we found was that some of the returns that we had in December that didn't get their refund charged back this month and that's what caused our spike of uh, chargebacks this month. We also noticed that our customer ser service phone number was being sent out wrong in our emails just recently. It only it was like a day, I don't know what happened, but for some reason maybe the like script didn't update or something. 
But anyway, we, uh, we got that all sort sorted out. So all of those little hiccups that come along with, I guess, running a business, we're looking at all the time, trying to find them before they really become catastrophic. And especially at this stage with our business, we aren't really going to get wrecked by a customer service number being wrong. But if we're doing $10 million a month or $10 million a year, $50 million a year, whatever the number is, then yeah, we would get fucked because there's a lot of orders coming through, a lot of people talking to you at the same time. Like that's something that we can't have happen at scale. And so it's a good thing that we have this daily checklist to make sure that it doesn't. And with that said, there's, of course, there's going to be issues at scale, you know, but I mean, yeah, so everything else looked pretty good. Today we made like 600 bucks in revenue off of our subscriptions. And yesterday we did like, let's just pull this up yesterday. Yesterday we did pretty decent subscriptions, like like 2,000 in subscriptions. Sorry, that was Levi right there. So two grand in subscriptions yesterday, 600 today. This month we're at um, 110,000 in revenue. So we're on track to hit our 150. That's like what our goal was at the end of the month anyway, to cap out consistently until we get more merchant account cap. And so we're on the way there. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so we're on the way there. Levi, chill out, buddy. Chill out. I, uh, as, as annoying as Levi might be, I'm still so happy to have him because uh, when I was younger, actually, story time. So when I was younger, like I'm talking like eight years old, we went to a theme park with my mom and there was this board not board game but like you know those amusement park games you throw balls at and i threw the ball in the right color hole and i won a uh, stuffed animal husky and basically <laughs> and basically ever since then i've wanted a real life husky but i was never able to get one as a kid and so you bet as soon as i moved out of my parents house into my own spot at like 18 i got uh i got this guy right here where is he at i got him wherever he is I got him. And so that was like kind of a dream come true moment for me. And he's, he's a lot of work, but I, I do love him. And uh, I'm, it's just like cool because I talked about this before, but you can create your own reality basically. And it's something that I've lived through. Like I've lived creating my own reality. I've lived like, I remember another story. So my first ever trip with friends from e-com was to Florida. And in that trip, I was like, dude, how awesome would it be to live in Florida? And now look at me. I'm living in Florida in a beautiful place. And it's exactly what I dreamt of back then. And like, you know, it's what I was always wanted to happen. Of course, there's ups and downs and bumps along the road, but you can make it happen. Like you can make anything in your life happen for you. And if you're, you know, doubting yourself, you shouldn't because why not you? If, uh, if I could do it, why can't you, you know? So I'm really just happy with my life right now. Like I told you earlier, we're not making money or anything right now, but we will. And it's going to be awesome by the time that we scale, like everything's going to be just crushing it. So I'm really, really looking forward to it. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys as always for watching and comment. If you have any questions for me, sorry about today's video being kind of short. I had a really, really busy day. Tomorrow, I'll make sure that it's more value packed for you guys, that you guys get more info in there. I don't know, not really, but I'll make sure that I, I have a longer video tomorrow where I talk about some cooler topics and whatnot, but today was quite a busy day. So thank you guys again for watching and we are growing pretty crazy. We're at like 560 or something like that now. So, or 630, 630, yeah. 630, which is pretty wild and that means that we're 70 away from my goal for this month, which is 700 subscribers. So let's run it up, boys. Let's run it up. But all right, guys, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Zero to a million dollars challenge. Doing pretty good. Um, so, all right. Peace.